Hello, my name is David Mandel and I'm your instructor. Um, in this video I want to tell you a little bit about our online classrooms. This term uh, we're going to have online classrooms and I will be available on the online classrooms on Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. and Friday evenings from 6 to well to 8 p.m. if anyone's there I'll probably take off about 7 p.m. if no if if the room is empty other than me let me show you a little bit about how the online rooms work if you go to the desire to learn site you'll see the tabs across the top one of them says online rooms if you click on the button that says online rooms you get a list of our online rooms here. There's one for Wednesday evening, there's one for Friday evening, and there's a test room that you can play with or it's really meant for me to test, uh, use for testing, but anyone can use it. So if you want to join the Wednesday night, uh, Wednesday evening discussion, all you do is you go down here and you hit join. That brings up, and you can do this from most any browser. Um, well, I'm not sure. From most any Java enabled browser, including Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and um, Chromium. It works fine from an Android. Well, it works from an Android. They're actually a little hard to see from an Android, but but you do have Android access. It works from Windows. It works from a Mac. It works from Linux with a few caveats, but basically it works from Linux as long as you're not the instructor. If you're the instructor, it doesn't work well from Linux because certain features do not work from Linux at the moment, thanks to our friends at uh, uh, who make Collaborate. So if as well as the um, classrooms, I also record um, the sessions for people that couldn't make it and are interested. So far many of the sessions are very boring, but maybe they'll improve with time. in the sense that they're really only good for um, the person who attended or the, the few people that attended because it's been more discussion between us. However, in time, if there's demand, I'll start doing little videos during the sessions and little uh, demos. At least I'm going to try to do that. This system is a little bit hard to use, to tell you the truth. I'm not totally happy with it. We need an open source project to make a replacement for this system. Um, anyway, one of, if you're interested in some of the recordings, you can go down to Archives. And the sessions are archived in that area. And I'm going to click on one of these archives because that will just simply bring the session up and see how it comes up if you had hit the join button. If um, the session comes, uh, the first thing that happens is another window comes up and it says, do you want to load uh, Java? Ice-T is actually the Linux version of Java. I happen to be on a Linux machine at the moment. Uh, Windows comes up slightly differently, but um, you get the same sort of questions. And I will say with certain browsers, they're more protective of you, and certain operating systems are more protective of you than others. So some of, with, in certain situations, you'll get more questions. In others, you'll get less, fewer questions. Sometimes once you answer a question, it gets saved in a cookie or whatnot, so you don't have to answer it the next time, so on and so forth. It does take probably about five minutes to get into this thing and to get everything up and running. 
uh, depending on your PC um, and the speed of things. But, uh, but it does take a little bit of time to get going. Also, they're assuming that you have good bandwidth. I really wouldn't try to use this unless I have at least DSL. But with DSL, it works fine. I've used it from hotel rooms when I was on the road. It's worked just fine. OK, it should be coming up. OK, we get another question. Oh, do you trust your publisher? I don't know why I get this question, because these guys really should own a uh, authenticated certificate. It's acting like they don't, but this type of site's certificate cannot be verified. Often I don't bother to pay the money for a certificate when I'm writing websites that require a certificate, but you would think that these guys would, but they didn't. So anyway, um, oh, I could say always trust this publisher, but I'm I won't do that now. And then the system comes up and it starts to run and um, recording started. Whoa, you may have heard that. Um, uh, let's see. Let me go over here and turn sound off. I've got to shrink that guy. Go down See, here. Send you a there, and I'll send, turn the sound off. But uh, we'll look at a few features in the uh, on this screen um, while we're here because these are basically the features that you will see if you're if you join for an online session online session of course they won't work because i'm just seeing this as a video because this is one of the archive sessions but these are the ones that you would see i'm trying to find the picture of myself here oh wait there's me. OK. Um, sometimes I'll write a note on a, on a board here saying I'm out for coffee or whatnot, and I'll just leave it up on the screen. Uh, features that people have is if you want to talk to me, there's a little button up here that you have to hit that says enable your microphone. And then you can ask questions. You can talk to me. Um, you can just leave the microphone turned on unless you have a lot of background noise. Often there's a lot of there's enough background noise that it bothers the whole session, and you want to keep clicking the uh, microphone on and the microphone off. This bar over here, after you enable it, is the one for your um, webcam that lets you view people. I will say the videos that you get from the Blackboard Collaborate system tend to be choppy because to reduce bandwidth requirements, they don't sample the webcams or anything else very often. There, are, There's a lot of lag problems with this. Sometimes when I talk to people, my voice will be five seconds behind you will hear my voice five seconds after I say something. Sometimes it's a bit slow and yeah. Also, uh, you'll usually notice that there'll be a second person here as well as me as the moderator. There'll be a second David Mandel. And I'll just tell you what that's for. That's generally because I set up a PC right beside the machine I'm using because the instructor user interface is, has a lot more bells and whistles and is really pretty different from the student's user interface. Plus, there's lag times. So I just want a PC sitting beside me 
that sees what the students are seeing so that I can manipulate the one the instructor uses and see what's happening. OK, well, that's it. And then when you're done, we just end that. I think there's a button over here under the file thing to end this, or I'll just kill it here. This screen you have to leave open while the system's running. At least that's what it says. Uh, I've never tried closing it. That'd be a fun exercise. OK. And as I said, there are um, this term. There are classes on Wednesday evening and Friday evening. From, I change that from term to term. So if you get this video, other than the winter term of 2015, maybe maybe the rooms you see are slightly different, but the idea is the same. I've done this for a long time. I must say I'm not totally happy with the Collaborate system. The concept is really good. The experience isn't so good. I've also tried doing the same thing with uh, Google Hangouts which used to work pretty well, but the latest, it seems to me like Google Hangouts has changed recently where it doesn't work as well as it used to. Uh, they've, to reduce, I think they've reduced the resolution they give you quite a bit in order to save bandwidth. Another one that works really well is um, Skype. But Skype, uh, last time I checked, cost so much per per student or person that comes in, and um, and I'm cheap. I don't want to pay that bill, and PCC doesn't pay it. So, but if you ever want to try uh, some video conferencing, use Skype. It works really well. I I think it's free if it's just one person to one person, but when you get a group of people, then they start to charge by the by the participant. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to talk about, and um, with that, I'm done. Bye bye.